I want you to become a private pilot. What does it take? It boils down to five simple things. You need a student pilot certificate, a medical certificate, you need to get some flight and some ground training, you gotta pass a written test and a practical test, and just like that, look at you, now you're a private pilot. There's no way it can be that easy. Let's talk about it. If you simply want to go out and take a few flight lessons and learn what all this flying stuff is about, you really don't need any of those five things. However, if you want a pilot certificate, you need five of those things. Here we go. Student pilot certificate. It's basically a learner's permit. You need to be 16 years old and be able to read, write, speak, and understand English in order for you to get the student pilot certificate. The way you get one is you go to iacra.fa.gov, sign up for an account, log in, apply for a student pilot certificate, and just like that, within three weeks, the FA will mail it to you, and now you'll have a student pilot certificate. It has a plastic card that doesn't expire, and you must have it on you when you are solo. In other words, when you fly the airplane all by your lonesome self. The medical certificate is also something you need when you solo. Now, there are three classes. We have first class, second class, and a third class. How original. First class is for an airline transport pilot. Second class is for a commercial pilot and the third class is for a private pilot or a recreational pilot. Here's how they break down in terms of validity or how long they're good for. First class is good for either 12 months or 6 months depending on your age. Second class is good for a year. And a third class is good for either 60 calendar months or 24 calendar months depending on how old you are. What kind of medical do you need? Okay, if you want to be a private pilot, I would go for a third class. If you want to be an airline pilot at some point, I would go for a first class. How do you go about getting a medical certificate? You need to visit an AME or an Aviation Medical Examiner. This is a doctor who works at a hospital or a clinic and they have been blessed and anointed by the FAA to hand out FAA medical certificates. And so you need to find one of these people and the best way to do that is to Google FAA AME. You will either get an FAA website where you can search by area or whatnot or there will be third party sites that will list AMEs in your area. And so you find one of those, then you find the practice they work at, and you call them, and you schedule an appointment for an FAA flight physical. It is very important that you mention FAA flight physical, because there's DOT physicals, there's other sorts of physicals that you absolutely don't need. It absolutely has to be an FAA flight physical. A couple things about medicals. They're not covered by insurance. The cost is between 100 and 200 for a third or a second class and 150 or more for a first class. These prices are not set by the FAA, the doctors and the clinics set them, so whatever they want is whatever they get. And the last thing is you need to fill out an application to get a medical, and that is done on MedExpress. So if you Google MedExpress, you can go to the website, register, and fill out the application for a medical certificate. Please, 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 please do yourself and me a favor and write down the confirmation number or better yet, just print the whole darn PDF when you're done because they can't pull up your application if you don't have that when you show up for your medical. Now, some of my audience might have heard of Basic Med and Basic Med is this thing that came out in 2016 and it allows relief, if you will, for the stringent requirements of medical certificates. So basically, if you've held a medical uh, after 2006, you don't need to get another medical you can get this basic med certificate deal it's basically a lesser uh, physical and you don't need an AME for that it's just a regular state certified physician a little piece of advice with medical certificates if you're just starting your flight training I would highly recommend that you go out and you get your medical before you start the flight training the last thing you would want is to be unable to solo because the doctor is busy for the next five months or so and lastly, if you're wanting to become an airline pilot or a commercial pilot, shoot for a first or a second class medical just to make sure that you meet the physical standards for those medical certificates. Your instructor will make sure that you do all the flight training that you're supposed to to get your private pilot certificate. It's split up into three parts. You have a pre-solo stage, a cross-country stage, and then a check-ride preparation stage. In the pre-solo stage, you learn how to take off, land, do some maneuvers, this is to get you ready to solo by yourself or do a couple of takeoffs and landings and get to feel comfortable in the airplane by yourself. In the cross country stage, you get to learn how to navigate by instruments, by charts, by landmarks, and you'll be able to go from one airport to another airport. This will help you build even more confidence. In the check ride preparation stage, you'll be polishing up all your maneuvers and all your takeoffs and landings that you've learned up to this point so that you can do really well on the practical test with the FAA. 
even though the minimum to get your private pilot certificate is 40 hours, the national average is between about 60 and 75 hours, so keep that in mind. The FAA private pilot written test is taken at an FAA testing facility, which you can also Google. It's a 60 question multiple guess test. You're given two and a half hours to complete it, and you need at least 70% to pass. It doesn't matter when you do the test, but you can do it anytime you feel comfortable, you can pass. Most of the subject matter that you need to know, you can learn by yourself by watching this YouTube channel, for example, or by reading the FAA publications like the Airplane Flying Handbook or the Pilot Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. The check ride or the FAA practical test is a two-part test. It's an oral exam with the examiner. They'll ask you things about airspace regulations, airplanes, etc. that you should know to become a private pilot. And there will also be a flight portion where you will demonstrate all your maneuvers, landings, takeoffs, all of that. Once you pass, you will get your private pilot temporary certificate and then you'll get the real one in the mail whenever the FAA gets done printing it. And that's it. You need five things to get a private pilot certificate. Now, of course, it'll take time. It'll take effort and a bunch of studying, but all you need is a student pilot certificate to start. You need a medical, you need to get your flight and ground training, and then you need to pass a written test and a check ride. Make sure to check out the links in the description. There's a lot of information, especially on basic med, if you're interested. If you have any additional questions, leave them in the comment boxes below. And until next time, have fun, fly safe, and always keep learning.